It's, it's good for Chicago. It helps our economic base. We're in trouble. And we need that help for our economic base. So it's, it's a, but are we going to forget the people that live here? We can't forget the people that work hard. They're entitled to a living wage. They're entitled to a decent wage to, to, so they can support their families. And that's why eventually Walmart's going to have to come up to the table and have to have, if you're taking money from the city by the way of tips, you're going to have to come up and, and come up and, 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 and do your share. And so is Target, and so is Jewel, and so is all the rest of them. It's not nobody who takes money from the city is going to have to pay a living wage. That's what, that's what it's all about. And everybody's going to have to come up, up to the table. It's a payback time. So that's why we, we've got to start moving down that, down that ordinance also. Uh, there's no free, there's no free lunch in this country. Nobody gets a free lunch. It's eventually they're going to have to come and, and meet the terms that we, that we want. And that's, that's that every working person has to get a living wage. And Walmart is eventually going to have to understand that, just as every other employer is going to have to eventually understand it. You take our money, you're eventually going to have to pay a living wage.